What's up? What's up, YouTube? Jason here. Thought I'd give a quick video. Um, I went and I pulled the trigger, and we got one, dude. Boom. Got a saline wing. We finally got one. Ba bow. It works really good. I got up to some uh, 120 miles an hour or so, and the car is real stable. It's a lot more easy to handle now because we're trying to hit those top end speeds of 200 miles an hour and a saline wing was the way to go. There's other custom ones where you were way too much money and this was definitely easy for the bang for the buck. I paid about 100 bucks for it. It's great, it works really good. I mean, the car definitely feels so much different on the rear end. It's not so loose and wobbly or shaky on the highway, and, you know, at those top end speeds. And um, I'll be honest with you, the car feels really solid right now, man. It's like, it's awesome. You know, I can see what the Steve Celine package was going for. And I linked up some old videos of Steve Celine and that Mustang that they built. And uh, the Carcraft Mustang that hit 200 miles an hour by Duttweiler um, was an awesome video. I mean, they hit 200 miles an hour and completely stock trim in a 93 Cobra. You got to watch that video. That was insane, man. Completely stock trim, obviously, except for the motor. It was a Duttweiler SVO Ford engine, um, supercharger, SVO heads. I think it said it was around 700. You got to pay really close attention to him talking in the video. It's from the 90s, and uh, you can hear what he's saying about it. And um, the guy came in the traps at 180, and boom, hit 200. I couldn't believe it. They were, they were having some belt slippage there for a while, but when he finally got the car up to speed, it, they hit it. And um, So I was pretty neat to watch that. But anyway, it's on, dude. I like it. It looks good. I know it's old school, but man, I like it, dude. It's something different. It's functional. It's not just for looks. It actually works, dude. And um, it's pretty neat, dude. It looks good with the uh, with a two-inch cow. You know, it's got a pretty neat look to it, man. You know, with the, that being black and the, you know, the black thing, the black piece there. And, you know, I got the black turn signals and uh, the, the black Cobra opening. So it's pretty neat. So I just thought I'd get a quick video, guys. Let's know what's up. And um, the blue car is going to be on the road soon. We got the clutch. We got, we're waiting for the bolt kit to get here with the dowel pins so we can install it. And another Fox body, dude, will see pavement. From sitting for about seven years so that's awesome dude can't wait to drive that naturally aspirated 302 we're gonna put the x cam in it and put those nice flow masters on it dude and go back to that old school sound where you could uh hear a fox body from at least a quarter mile away man it's awesome sound those fox bodies that they were making back in the day and uh so we're gonna bring that sound back dude just have some fun with it and um and we'll keep building this puppy here man we'll keep you up to date and uh we're gonna get a video uh, this puppy hitting 200 miles an hour, dude, in under a mile, okay? Like NASCAR engines do. You see what I'm saying? So, but you got to have a lot of horsepower to do that. We're around 700. Should be plenty to hit that. And um, so, all right, guys. I appreciate you all watching, man. And uh, John just got back from church camp. That was awesome. I'm so blessed to have my boy. John is such a blessing, 10 years old. And um, I'm raising him in the admission of the Lord, to love the Lord, to serve the Lord, to pass out gospel tracts, and to tell others about Christ, man. That's what it's all about, and uh, that's what we're about, and um, it's just a blessing. It's awesome. And um, all right, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Peace.